Hello. Um, I need to get so sad. I promised you yesterday, sorry, this is Enzo's butt. I promised you yesterday to uh, to send you a video of uh, how to do uh, a cut off signal and teach them to stop what they are doing. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that it's a very good idea to, to teach them the cut off signal. But on the other hand, when when there's something you want them to stop doing is that you give them the cut off signal and ask them to do another thing so you like replace uh, the behavior with something else. And uh, also I would say that this practice you can generalize, you can use it for everything. It could be stop barking but it could also be leaving something uh, that you don't want uh, Misty to eat or it, yeah, it could be anything, it could be playing or anything, but the most important thing is that this exercise is an exercise where you reward them to stop, because often we get very much like, stop, and uh, the dogs, they, they, they get confused, but in this exercise, you actually, uh, you actually reinforce them when, when, when they do as you ask or when they stop, and, uh, and I think that this is very important because uh, then your dog will be more likely to stop next time. So I use it very much, especially when I walk in. So in here there's a lot of food f f uh, on the streets and I use it a lot. I need, I'm very afraid that he will eat something that's poisonous or something like that. So for me it's been really, really important to teach him the command and he does it really well. But also I have to say that with, if he leaves a lot of food on the ground, I will also give him a lot of treats and a lot of praise because, of course, it's a balance. You have to, of course, somehow do them uh, or give them something that weighs heavier than eating the food on the street, for example. Okay, let's try. Are you ready, Enzo? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So we use a technique and I think that maybe Vivica showed you already, but called body blocking. So in the beginning, you don't have to put on a cue. Um, what I do in the beginning is that, I'll just go a bit back so you can see me. I put some food on the floor behind me. Well, and so he is not watching that I put it there, but he will find out in a minute. Now he will go to it, I will block him. So the minute he lays down or walk away, but he's, I can see that his intentions are not to to get to them, I throw him a treat. Well done! So now he already he already got it. So, uh, but this is a, this is a, this is how you practice this exercise. And I guess with Misty, you better you better be uh, quick on your feet. You will probably try a little bit more. But I already did uh, a lot of training with him, so on this one. Dirty. He's laying down. She doesn't have to lay down. She could always ju also just bend away, and you would uh, enforce that as well. Dirty. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Okay. Good luck. Bye bye.